Jack of all trades, master of none. We've all heard this phrase before. It's usually used to describe somebody who has their hand in a lot of different activities. And we usually use it negatively to imply that that person is not good at any of them. I dislike using this phrase. And there are a few reasons. First of all, it's a very personal reason, because I am a jack of all trades. I have many different interests, and I can't sit still with one for too long because I get bored. That isn't to say that I start something and then leave it and then never come back to it. It's very interconnected, and I think it makes my life well-rounded. I've taught myself instruments before. I'm teaching myself French. I've taught myself how to yo-yo. I've taught myself how to code through Code Academy. I really enjoy learning new things. And I think that this is a good practice to have because life is constantly changing and we should be constantly adapting around it. And there's always things to learn. We should be doing that. The other reason I don't like the jack of all trades, master of none phrase is because I don't really think it's true, at least not in the way people are using it. I think it's true that if you are a jack of many trades, if you are a person of many interests and many endeavors, chances are you're not focusing on any one of those things enough to become a master of them, right? That's probably not happening. However, the implication with this idiom is that you're not good at any of the things and you don't know how to focus. And I just don't think that's true. People have been using this phrase a lot lately because of Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers book. If you're not familiar, Malcolm Gladwell is the guy who came up with the 10,000 hour rule, where he says that it takes 10,000 hours to become a world-class master in a particular field. People have started to take this rule and use it to encourage people to not be interested in many things at once. They're like, you can't, you gotta focus. You have to focus on one thing. Jack of all trades, master of none. We don't have the time to be spending our hours doing all of this other stuff. You gotta pick one. I have too many interests. I wanna write music. I like making videos. I like singing. I like playing an instrument. I love drawing. I love creating things. If you want to become the best of the best in a single field, then you don't want to be a jack of all trades, and you definitely want to follow Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule. However, I have a feeling that most of us do not have world-class master in a single field as one of our main goals. Here's my idea. Continue using the phrase jack of all trades, master of none, if you like to, but stop thinking about it so negatively. There's a lot of people that we look up to who had their hands in many interests, who were jack of all trades. Leonardo da Vinci, for one. Another interesting fact about this idiom is that it's incomplete. The first part is jack of all trades, master of none. But the second part, which nobody quotes, is but oftentimes better than a master of one, which completely changes the meaning, doesn't it? All right, I don't know if any of this made sense. It's just something that's been on my brain and I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully.